Alrighty, so we have these two points. It's negative 4, 2, and 3, 2. We've got to find the equation of a line that passes through the two points. And write your answer in slope-intercept form if possible. So anyway, just find the equation of a line that goes through those two points. So we might have found that there's kind of two steps to this. You find M and then you find B. So we've you find M, the slope, and then after that you find B. Um, because every straight line equation looks like this. It looks like y equals mx plus b. y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept, right? So we've got to find m and then find b. So finding m. So in other words, our answer is going to be, you know, y equals some number times x plus some other number, right? Um, if we find M and B, we can plug those numbers in and then we have our, our equation. So finding M, that's a slope formula. So like M equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Or the difference between the Y's over the difference between the X's. So it's this Y minus this one, which is just 2 minus 2 on the top. And on the bottom, it's this X3 minus negative 4. Um, and so we get 2 minus 2, 0 on the top. On the bottom, 3 minus negative 4, that's negative negative, plus thrust, plus plus. 3 plus 4 is 7. 0 over 7, and that makes 0. It's kind of like $0 divided equally among 7 people. Each person gets $0. Right? So the slope is zero. That means it's a flat line. That means the slope is zero. Like if you put a ball on the table, it won't roll. The slope is zero. It's flat. It's a horizontal line. There's no slope. It doesn't slope. It doesn't slope. This way, it doesn't slope. That way, it is a flat horizontal line or surface. Right? The slope is zero. That's what the slope zero is. Anyway. So the point is, we found M, and in fact, you can plug that into the answer. Y equals MX plus B, Y equals 0X plus something, wherever the B is. Anyway, now we have to find B. So we have Y equals, so far we have Y equals 0X plus B. That's what we have so far, because we found that M is 0, right? And we want to find B. Well, to find B, you can take a pair from this line and plug it in for x and y. So like plug something in for y equals 0 times x plus b and plug something in for x. So you can either use this point or this point. Which one do you want to use? It doesn't matter. First one. All right. So the x, this x value is negative 4 and this y value is 2. So for y we plug 2. For x we plug negative 4. And now we've got an equation with just b in it. So work that out. Well, you got 2 equals what's 0 times negative 4? 0 plus b. So 2 equals b. So b equals 2. b is 2. That's it. So we found that m at the top here, we found M was 0, and now we find that B is 2. And so for answer, Y equals MX plus B, Y equals 0X plus 2. Huh, interesting. How would you simplify Y equals 0X plus 2? Yeah, because 0X is 0. So it's just Y equals 2, and that's the answer. That's the equation. So the equation is, in fact... I guess I'll just put it over here to make it official. But the equation, the answer is y equals 2. That's the answer. y equals 2. Done. Um, now, what does that actually mean? Well, we have these points. x is negative 4. y is 2. That's that point there, isn't it? Negative 4, 2, right? And, y, and the other one is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, and that's here. This is 3, 2. And we want to find the equation of a line that goes through both points. So I'll just reach over and get my 
ruler and the line looks like this. It's just a horizontal line that goes through both points. And that is just y equals 2. That's the line. y equals 2. It's a horizontal line. It has no slope. See how it's no slope? Slope 0 because it's flat. Flat line. Okay. That's it. And I, I put little arrows on each end to show that this line goes on forever in both directions. It, it has all of these points on it. And not just these, not just the points you're given, but this line has all of these points on it, infinite points. And something that's in common with all these points is the y value is always 2. Like, for example, this point here is 0, 2. The y value is 2. Or if I go in this direction on the line, this point here is, you know, negative 10, 2. Guess what? The y value is 2. So any point on this line, the y value is 2. And that's why our equation looks like this. y equals 2, because all of the y values are 2. Got it?